Hello everyone and welcome to my Bachelor Nation 24 channel, I hope. Everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Golden Bachelorette Fans Slam Fake and Corny Season Joan Vaso's season of The Golden Bachelorette has gotten great reviews, but some fans think it is corny and fake. Keep reading to see why. Golden Bachelorette Fans Slam Fake and Corny Season Joan Vaso's season of The Golden Bachelorette kicked off last month to great fanfare. The show is once again being touted on social media as wholesome and genuine. However, one Bachelor Nation fan isn't sold on the senior version of the popular dating show. They took to Reddit to find like-minded viewers. Anyone else unable to watch the Golden Show's base they seem over the top fake slash staged? The OP wrote on a Reddit thread. They added, I can't quite put my finger on it. But both the Golden Bachelor and Golden Bachelorette have felt extremely corny and fake to me. Nothing against Joan, just looking to commiserate. The majority of comments express the exact opposite sentiment. Check out some of the replies praising the Golden Bachelorette. No, I think it's more genuine. These guys are not trying to be influencers, not hiding their snoring, gas, aches, and pains. They're too old to change their patterns or normal routines, for the most part. It seems to me. Everyone is enjoying Golden Bachelorette over the Og ones, in particular the recent ones which have been a big disappointment. The exact opposite. I actually never want to watch the younger people again because of it. All they care about is Instagram, and it's nice to watch genuine people who don't care about that and are having fun and letting loose and just all around being real. No, the opposite. They are far more real than the kids. This is how mature people behave they listen. They are kind to each other they care. I've also been watching since season one. Emo of the Golden Back is reminiscent of the early days before social media. It feels so much more authentic than what we've seen in the last 10-ish years. I have an opposite view. I think it's more real and emotional as opposed to the younger bachelor and baccalaureate coming on the show for social media clout and to party. The View host accuses the show of being scripted. The View host Anna Navarro would definitely agree that the Golden Bachelorette is corny. In fact, she said so herself to Joan Vaso's face. Anna previously bristled when the discussion turned to the Golden Bachelor last year during Jerry Turner's season. Joan Vaso's recently went on The View to promote the show. Anna Navarro admitted that she had never watched an episode. She asked Joan. The Golden Bachelorette denied multiple times that the show was scripted. Honestly, it's not scripted, it really isn't. They never tell you what to say. They never tell you who to pick. They arrange dates for you so that's really fun, but they have your input on that also. They ask you what you'd like to do, she said. The glow of the TV screen flickered in living rooms across the country as yet another season of Asterisk, the Golden Bachelorette Asterisk, unspooled its drama. With Joan Vasos, the charming lead of the show, at the helm, viewers had been promised a refreshing journey of romance, wisdom, and second chances. Instead, what was once eagerly anticipated has now left fans feeling frustrated and disappointed. The season had all the elements of success. Joan's charisma, a pool of mature and intriguing contestants, and the novelty of a show that celebrated love later in life. But instead of a heartfelt journey, viewers are calling the season fake and corny. A far cry from what they had hoped for. Social media was flooded with fiery opinions, with fans vocalizing their distaste for what they saw as a missed opportunity to break away from the scripted drama and manufactured moments that plague other dating shows. Hashtag, 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 the fake factor. Disingenuous connections. The initial excitement around Asterisk, the golden bachelorette Asterisk, was built on the idea that the older contestants would bring a level of emotional maturity and authenticity that younger casts on shows like Asterisk the Bachelor asterisk often lack. But as the season unfolded, fans couldn't help but feel like the connections being shown were shallow and forced. I wanted this to be different. One viewer wrote on a popular fan forum. 
I thought with people in their 60s and 70s, we'd see genuine, real love stories. But instead, it's the same old formula. Corny dates, overly dramatic eliminations, and no depth. I expected more. Many agree that instead of showcasing the complexity and beauty of love later in life, the show leaned into tropes that felt dated and artificial. The contestants, while certainly well-groomed and camera-ready, seemed to be playing to the cameras more than being themselves. Fans noticed how quickly some of them professed undying love for Joan, leading to speculation that some might be more interested in fame than romance. One episode in particular drew heavy criticism when Joan went on a romantic picnic date with one of her suitors, Charles Ling. The setting was picturesque. A sun-dappled meadow with an ornate spread of gourmet food, but the conversation felt stiff, almost as if it were being read from a script. Fans on Twitter were quick to point out how rehearsed the entire scene felt, with one user saying, Charles sounded like he was auditioning for a Hallmark movie. Nothing about that date felt real. Hashtag 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 corny dates and over-the-top drama. As the season progressed, the corny factor increased tenfold. It wasn't just the dates that felt overly staged, it was the unnecessary drama that felt completely out of place for a show that was supposed to be about finding love in the golden years. Instead of embracing the wisdom and patience that comes with age, asterisk, the golden bachelorette asterisk, seemed determined to inject the same kind of petty rivalries and exaggerated conflicts that are staples in the regular asterisk bachelor asterisk franchise. One of the most eye-roll-inducing moments came during a group date at a pottery studio. What started as a lighthearted activity turned into an absurd melodrama when two of the men, George and Peter, started bickering over who had connected more with Joan. Instead of the show focusing on the creativity or the potential for Joan to bond with the contestants in a meaningful way, it devolved into a petty argument complete with broken clay vases and a theatrical storm-off. Are we really doing this? Another viewer tweeted, accompanied by a meme of an exasperated sigh. This is like watching 20-year-olds at a frat party. Come on, these people are grandparents. Why does this show make them act like teenagers? To make matters worse, there was a suspicious emphasis on corny romantic cliches, like candlelit dinners in extravagant mansions, cheesy love letters delivered on horseback, and, of course, the cringeworthy serenades. One suitor, Paul, took things to a new level of cringe when he serenaded Joan on national television, performing a song he'd written about their undeniable connection. The moment was so awkward that even Joan seemed to cringe, forcing a smile through what fans could tell was secondhand embarrassment. Hashtag, 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 lost opportunity for death. Perhaps the most significant reason fans felt let down by the season was because it could have been so much more. In a world obsessed with youth and instant gratification, asterisk, the golden bachelorette asterisk was supposed to be a beacon for a different kind of love. One built on shared experiences, understanding, and the desire for companionship rather than superficial attraction. But rather than exploring the rich lives these contestants had led, from marriages and heartbreaks to careers and personal growth, the show seemed determined to focus on shallow conflicts and fairy tale dates. Fans wanted to hear stories about how these individuals had learned from their past relationships.